10 days ago, a week ago, and, yeah. and uh, we were talking about you coming on the show tonight, and, yeah. and you said, can we do something a little bit different? Yeah. What did you want to do? And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to narrow, but go on anyway, tell us what did you um, want to do. Well, I've always wanted, well, not always wanted, I bumped into Ryan during the summer, and um, he was looking a little bit blue, you know, and I had a bit of a chat with him, and we transpired, we had a great chat about interviewing. Yeah, talk and shows. I thought talk. it would be a very nice experience for me if yeah. I could come on the show and interview Ryan. For uh, and and I know. watch the show to watch you being interviewed and not me, but you're, you're convinced that maybe it might be nice for you to have a go driving the car. Yeah, I've always wondered. Kind of, have you ever done an interview I've before? I've never ever interviewed anyone. I mean, I, obviously my job, I'm a, we, have, we have to be people persons. Yeah. You know, so I'm used to talking. Well, why, don't you, why don't we just, well, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I don't know, yeah, I'm supposed to pick out this year if you say, oh, please forgive me, because I've never done an interview, I'm terrified. Oh, no, you'll be fine. Not as terrified as him. I'm pretty but, terrified. Um, but uh, because I'm scared, I had to write the questions, I won't remember them, because I'm not a professional like Mr. Tuckerby. Well, I'm so. a struggling professional. Now, here's sure the thing that's always made me want to do this kind of interview. I want to talk about this first. I have questions, which is why I'm a singer, I always explain, because I'm a bit stupid, that's why we're singers. So, questions that may be obvious I need to ask that I wanted to ask you about. As you're, as you're getting your yeah, English, English you're yeah. together there. So now, yeah. what goes on in the air? So a few things I wanted oh. to know about him. I'm always, I'm always curious what goes on in the air. Not so much, then, really. A few things that... Okay, thanks. Few th <laughs> <laughs> I'll get an idea. They say bigger. No, okay, a few things I really always want to know about the lately. First of all, thank you for having me on the show. That's a great pleasure. Thank it's a real you. pleasure thank to be here. You. Thank you. I feel very exposed. Yeah, I might ask you about some of the items I've found. I only have this desk and a shield, and now I have Sinead O'Connor looking at me. Some of the items I found in the drawer here. Uh, I'm going to ask you about those after the serious questions. Now, so now, you, can I just ask first of all, yeah, this, okay. this might be a stupid question, forgive me, I'm a singer. Is RTE state TV? Not really, no, it's not at all. I mean, it's, it's, not? it's not because it's not, uh, it's, it's, it's run by independent people who wouldn't uh, ever interfere in uh, programming or anything like that. So no, it's an independent. Right. And who, who are those people? If not well, that would be the director general, the, the man who's in charge of the organization, but like CEO of a company, something right. like that. Okay. But I'm not um, afraid of the mechanics of the organization in the sense that I come in and ask questions and, and people clap and I go home. I mean, like, I wouldn't like to overstate my, you know, I'm not Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, just, just, there was questions that I, that I wasn't quite sure of. So sure. who and what during an interview is a lot of interest is in the earpiece? Well, uh, there's nothing for me. I'm just going to who often do What happens in the earpiece, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a box full of people up, up, upstairs there. And that's what they, what, for yeah, me. so what they do is like, they, they're, they're called the disagree, boring technical stuff, but this one is, the director, the producer, and, 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 and other colleagues. And they're kind of making sure the plane is, is up, you know, flying and, and land safely. So they might say to me, uh, hurry up, or, uh, get, or, or go home, or that was rubbish. Okay. Uh, but that's all it is. It's a little guide every so often. Okay. The gentleman over there, Kieran, will, will now okay. tell you, wrap it up. Or and stuff do they like set that. the questions for the interviews? No, myself and my colleagues, would. what we do is we say, okay, Sinead O'Connor's coming on the show on Friday night. So on Monday or Tuesday, we sit down and we'll go through where you are, and you know, we look at your, we'll brief, okay. we'll brief you up, as I said. And what if it's a politician? Oh, that's more, it's probably more intense, because they, they get, they're they going to be asked hard questions about where they're at, and what's going on, and what's going on in the country, so we look into where they are, we research them to see where we, for an interview can go. And to what go. extent, then, are you, say, or Pat, or Gabe, or would have they been allowed to be involved in the, allowed in, in, involved in, in the questions? In the process. The setting of questions. I would say very, very involved, yeah, in the setting of questions, um, but not necessarily the booking of guests. Okay. Yeah, now that's what I was wondering, to what extent, I've often heard you say, oh, they're asking me to ask such and such, I've always wondered to I, what I extent, extent are they, are they, are they are you okay, by the way, she looks like she's about to have her baby, is it kicking? <laughs> is the baby kicking? Um, so there doesn't be, obviously given that it's not state TV, there doesn't as such be an agenda or a party line or anything. No, like no, not at all. And um, one question I always had was, to, to what extent do you think it might have been difficult for Gabo to be the host during the height of the theocracy? Do you think he would have had to sit on his hands to some extent? Because he probably wanted to box a few people. But no, I, I think, I think, yeah, I think temp it's uh, sometimes, you know, it's tempting when you get somebody here that, that you mightn't particularly want to be there. They don't want to be there. You're suddenly, that's yeah. kind of difficult, but, but yeah. very rare. But what I'd say to you about, like, in, in the time when it was all... Uh, when, the, when, when the church were running, you know, a lot of the, the stories, if you like. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the Late Late Show had this role where it took it on, and Gay would have had these 
debates that reflected its time. Like yes. we, we, were, we did a water debate two weeks ago to yeah. reflect what was happening in the country. Yeah, so so it's, 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 well, it depends on what's going on in, yeah. gay, in Gay's time. It was a lot about the Catholic Church. But uh, well, I suppose what I mean is if Gay had a feeling of his own, I had an, a, a gay interview me one time and I said I'd love to interview Gay and he yeah. said to me that pretty much he intimated that he was never able, not able, but that it was better for him to never express his own opinion too much about stuff because he couldn't have done his job properly otherwise. Yeah, you know, I, know, I think you so are able to have an, yeah. uh, an opinion yeah. and, uh, um, and speak your mind. Yeah. So yeah, speaking about the water thing, I just wanted to ask you today, I, I changed some of my questions that I had planned because of something that I saw here today that somebody showed me some footage of a woman being thrown around the streets by the cops here, mm. representatives of the state. And I, quite surprised. And I was wondering, um, as a person, and not as Ryan Tuberty, how do you feel about... I can only be Ryan Tuberty. Indeed. Right, no, 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 representative of RTE, but just oh, yeah, as a no, person, no, no, and um, I exonerate him from any legal responsibility for anything he might say. That's a word in the high court. No, no, no. My, my father is a barrister. My father is a barrister. Is fine. So how, how do you feel about the 1916 people be, being discredited lately by the state, and do you think it's because they don't want us being inspired by 1916 to revolt? Okay, well, what I'd say to you is that I have, I, I do have a role on, on in this program as what we to call a moderator. Yeah. So in that sense, I have to kind of balance and even out debate. So when I'm sitting where you're sitting, I have to say, okay, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Sure. Now, if I if I was sat here, even in in, in this interview that we're doing, I didn't, I didn't yeah. know anything you were going to ask me. Of course, I didn't yeah. know we we're going to be talking about 1916 and water, but here we are. Uh, and I don't mind that, by the way. At all. That's what we're that's what we're doing. Yeah. We're just shooting the breeze. But if I start getting into personal thoughts about these things, suddenly. I couldn't moderate a debate anymore. So I've got, right. to be, I've got to leave that stuff for the right. publishing. Okay, so we have a minute left. Which I love going to. So, okay, so... Um, okay. By the way, I'll have it out with you in the pub. I love the pub. All right, so one final question. I've only got a minute. Listen got to me. This is my most important question. I've got a minute. And I want to, uh, I'm going to get right down to this, but it's something I'd really love the audience to think about and the viewers, okay? It's my belief that nothing born of the slightest violence can succeed spiritually, and that consequently it can't succeed financially or any other way. It's my belief that the First Republic of Ireland failed because it was born of spiritual corruption and it's remained corrupt. To what extent would you all and would you consider supporting the idea of an absolutely non-violent revolution in the form of peaceful civil disobedience and the creation of a second Republic of Ireland? A, whole, a brand That's new republic. Think about, yeah. Well, it's, look, I think that the it, conversation... Worth I mean, based worth on the fact that the, rep the cops are throwing women around the streets over the water charges. Yeah. It's kind of a revolution, right? Yeah. Non-violent... So, I, I think the emphasis will should right. be on non-violence. So you know yeah, whether absolutely. whether whether you can't throw balloons, you, you can't, can't rock a car with, with no. a woman or a man in it. You, you, you can't throw a woman onto the street. What no. I would say, and I said this to somebody on the radio this week because somebody came out to me for, for for what I was saying, and I said, look, you know, the best people that you can look to in the world, iconic people like John Hume and Martin Luther King, Gandhi. they were Gandhi. They were marked and defined by their dignity. Yeah. And I think that the water well, charges yeah, thing yeah, has, has been be stripped down to find their because of the dignity yeah, of, but, the, of the people. But we mustn't be afraid of all the uh, temptations not to revolt. There has to be absolutely non-violent peaceful civil right. disobedience. Non-violent means don't throw balloons, don't throw right. anything at him. Sit in the street and get shot if you have to get shot. Silently sit there. But non-violence is but the key. But we've got yeah. to claim back our country. The spirit of 1916, they built a country out of rubble. We have more than they had at that time and we don't need to be violent or create rubble. But we need to get that spirit But didn't they need to use violence to... And it's uh, deliberate that our state are trying to discredit the 1916 people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, the very fact is this, this discrediting of 1916 is being done on purpose so that we won't revolt. We must understand we can revolt without violence and study Gandhi. Everybody start watching Gandhi. Are you happy now? All right. How was that for you? It was great. I'm very happy about it. I'm very happy about Are you it. glad we did you this? Know, I'm glad to see what goes on in the air, yeah. No, I'm glad to. No, but I'm glad because I think it's important we start looking. I was shocked today to see at the Late Late Show of all places. You know, the cops throwing girls around the streets. There's really something sure. very serious going on here. Okay. Something's got to well, change. I'm glad that we had the chance to talk about it. Thank you for letting me come on your show. Thank you for letting me. It's been lovely. Yes. Yeah, Jeanette Coffey is All right. All right. I'm just going to say something. Do I